Hello, YouTube. Today we're on the VIP series, and it's a very sad video. We're going to be destroying the entire account and then rebuilding it. I wouldn't just end this account. Uh, we curiously realized today, was in today, I am becoming VIP 10, which means I've spent exactly 6,000 on the account over the space of a year, which funnily enough, loads of people say, oh, MK, you spend way too much money on the VIP series. Um, that's 500 bucks a month, which if I do recall is what we said we were going to spend on the VIP series, which I'm, I'm happy with that for me is fine. And I'm glad it's worked out like that. I, uh, yeah, VIP 10 in a year. Okay, sure. 500 bucks is expensive for a lot of people, but when you're a content creator, I think that's a perfectly reasonable amount to spend on an account. So yeah, I'm pleased with that. I'm, I'm surprised it wasn't more actually. So yeah, I'm, I'm very, very happy with how that spending has turned out. So today is the time we're going to become VIP 10. And yes, Barry, tax write-off. My man knows. <laughs> if it's tax deductible, hell yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead. I think we're going to kick things off with spending actually, because if we're going to do scrolls, we need backspace. And one of the real nice perks about being a high VIP person is backspace. And for getting to VIP 10, look at that. We get an extra 50 backspace, which trust me, will add up. So you're probably wondering, I've been asked by a lot of people in my YouTube comments, is MK going to max out anniversary? Now, I don't want to max it out but I'm very certain that a Tree of Origin core is going to be huge for the account. It's going to be fascinatingly powerful, and it will really push the account in a totally new direction. So we are going to go ahead and spend just enough and no more. So $350, and that's it. Now, how we're going to spend that is very simple. We're going to start with the Bravo Package 2, which gets us 50 flashy sticks, and we also get a six skin for Freya. My favorite Transcendence Hero. We're going to get ourselves the Bravo Package 3, which gives us the extended rewards, which means we can upgrade our hero in the Tree of Origin. We'll get the Essence Sublimation Chest for more Tree of Origin rewards, and most importantly, 2,500 Starry Gems. Those 2,500 Starry Gems, I'm not going to spend straight away. And you might think, why, MK? Why are you not going to spend them straight away? Well, if you cast your eyes across to MK's Little Secret, which is the other account I have that we've been working on where we built Freya as our first Transcendence Hero, I have on this account a B minus Vessa. And this Vessa is freaking strong. She's 3400 with 3100 in HP and 30 speed, crit damage, and armor. She is nice. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her up for sale and I'm going to buy her for myself. And then I will gift myself the Starry Gems back and then use those to buy the $100 package. So it costs me very little. I'll have to pay a little bit through conversions, but I have the contract Starry Gems to uh, to mitigate that, so it's totally fine. But it does mean I get to use my B- Vessa on my main account rather than on the Freya account, which is freaking lovely, man. It's freaking great. So the only thing I'm upset about is the 5% cut that DH games are going to take twice. So I'll lose 10% of it, but it's fine. As I said, I have contract story gems, as you can see here, or even just normal story gems, actually, to pay the difference. So yeah, thumbs up for that. That's good. And ooh, I've got 500 gems here as well. Yummy. Anyway, that's, uh, that's stuff that's going to be happening later, not today. So let's get ahead and buy the things we said we were going to buy. And then on top of that, I actually need to go to the cool events and we need to go to the value packages and buy two of the $100 packages because it will get me flashy light sticks, which I can then use, um, well, obviously, to get to 350. So that's the plan. And then the final, obviously, I'll use my starry gems to buy this. So it's a win, I think. That, 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 that works out right. We also get like 700 scrolls from this. So it'll take me well over 2,000 heroic summons. So we're going to open 2,000 heroic summons. So hopefully I get lucky. Let's find out. First things first, though, spending time. Friends, look at that. Oh, VIP 10. We did it. Let's claim our rewards. A resonance suit. Isn't that lovely? Now, we did one little trick. It's actually cheaper to buy starry gems than the value package. So I only bought one value package, and that's why I have 5,000 starry gems. So I am going to buy one of these with starry gems. And then the rest will just leave because I need to do the Vesa swap. So that's good. That's that's all very good. Now, how am I doing for scrolls? Exactly 2,000. Man, genius. And I'll have 100 leaving this event at least. We'll get loads of rewards as well. So that's that's all very, very good. So let's get cracking. With that extra backspace, we can now start doing summons. So that'll be fun. And 
we need to do some hero swapping because what I haven't said is I'm actually going to get rid of Sword Blash, I'm going to get rid of Halora, and we're building Freya and Jara. So big switch ups coming, but I don't want to start like doing some collateral whilst I still have summons to do because the smartest thing right now is to go ahead and do our summons. And we've cleared out all our three stars or two stars and one stars. I have a few four stars, but this is mostly just five stars that I need to either feed. And annoyingly, it's the light and dark faction that's clogging everything up as usual. I've managed to consolidate a lot of light food into Asmodel, Russell and Eos, but even that's not enough. And I can't consolidate my dark food because I need to build dark Mockman. So yeah. And what have I got an E5 Ignis for? It was for Halora and that was used in seal land so jess if you're ever trying to push halora in seal land you're going to need an e5 ignis and two nine stars um, but yeah i don't need that anymore so i potentially could get rid of ignis as well either way let's get cracking we've got a load of scrolls to do um let's see what i can get so here we go nothing oh edgar cool good start i'm hoping for some good five stars Maybe like an early mock man, that'd be freaking sick. Uh, wow, okay, Balrog and Sleepless. So I got three five stars already. Let's just for the for the content, right? Let's keep track of this. Let's do a hundred summons. So that's a segment. So we're in four five stars. We got 30 left. Let's make that five with a Karim. Nothing there. And the final 10? Five five stars. Pretty good. Nice. It's a very solid run. What else can we grab? Uh, okay, hero list is full. <laughs> this is, oh, this is going to be torture, chat. I wish I had more bag space, but I just don't. Oh, right. Okay, let's quick upgrade to five star. We don't need to worry about shelter mission next week because I have loads of four star shards already saved. So that'll be fine. But at least the altar is fast, right? You can just go boop, disassemble, dead, and then in we go again. So let's keep them cracking. Oh, now I've just stopped getting five stars. That's not very fair. Buy bag space with gems chat? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. That is not based. That's just silly. I'm VIP 10. And you're like, nah, you need more bag space, bro. The amount of gems I've saved not having to buy bag space. I, I wonder, how much does it cost for me to upgrade this? 900. Yeah, get in the bin. Screw that. That's like two imprint swaps. Get out of here. All right, let's quick upgrade to five star. Yes. Boom. Right. Then the altar. You know the drill. Quick select, clear, disassemble. And we head back in. And we hopefully can just keep this cycle going and it shouldn't be too painful. And ooh, baby. Natasha and an early mock man. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Keep that coming. Ooh, and an Akia. I'm getting all the Tressassins right now. Oh, another Assassin. Seer. And she's not bad. She's actually pretty good. Ha! <laughs> and an Annabelle. Yo! And an Edgar. Wow! So many five stars. This is a good run. Oh, it's so fast. Man. Okay, now I get no more five stars. I think that's fair. Ooh, Freya. Nope, that's not a Freya. That's a faceless. <laughs> Freya. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> the second sleepless. Let's go. Oh, and Edgar again. It's our third Edgar, man. Boom. Bring the forest food. Let's go. Edgar's clearly the best hero in the game, guys. You've been lied to. Transcendence Edgar coming soon. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> oh, he'd be so bad. Like, you think Mockman's a joke? Transcendence Edgar would be ten times worse. Unless they on purposely make him OP. Like, yeah, let's go. New best hero. Edgar's better than Mockman. You know what? When I was reading Mockman's skills, I was like, yo, he's just Edgar but dark. <laughs> Like, literally, go and read Edgar. He does all the dumb front back line crit, not crit shenanigans as well. And there's a Kamath. That's nice. And a Cthugo. Whoa, we're getting a lot of elite heroes, actually. Very fortunate. And nice. Hero list is full. Okay, let's go back again. Uh, creation circle. Quick upgrade to five star. 
And same again, alter, quick select, three, disassemble. And nice. Let's carry on. Woo! Another early mo Wait, what? How? How many have we done such that that mock man just dropped in there? Yo, two mock men and we've done 560. This is freaking stupid. I'm loving that. Let's carry on. Dude, this is goated. I guess that means I can get myself, if I really wanted, nine copies of Mockman for when he's going to get transcended. He might be good. Who knows? Better safe than sorry. Flame Strike copy. Seemed good. There's a Mirage. Nice. All the Fortress food. And Heroless is full again. Cool, cool. All right. Back in we go. Kicking things off with a fat moo. Nice. It annoys me how if it's a hero on the top line, I don't immediately see who they are because the freaking chest thing comes up. But that's an Asmodel. That's actually kind of cool. Fun light hero. Emily. Nice. And hero list is full again. All right. It's filling up pretty quick, but that's fine. We can clear it out just as quickly, if not more quickly. And then we'll head back in. Ooh, Demon Hunter. Nice. Berea. Sick. I've been very lucky with the five stars today, actually. It's been nice. And here it is, it's full again. Wow, I really don't have that much backspace now, do I? <laughs> Alrighty, let's carry on then. Bring out the summons. Lots! Amazing. No more five stars, though. That's a bit of a pain. Yeah, I feel like I put too much hype into a Lutz. <laughs> Just casually does 100 summons, only gets Lutz. Winning. Not. Right, back to the altar then. Quick select. Three stars, disassemble, and head back in. How much backspace we got now? Similar amount. Nothing special. Mirage. Dominator. Okay, now we're getting the five stars. Grew. Wow, three and 30. Out of Mockman? Another early Mockman. No freaking kidding. Holy cow! Three early Mockmen! That's just... okay. Sure. And a Vessa! Do you want to just keep giving me five stars? And Eloise! Oh my god! Like, that... What the hell? And a Rosa? And a Starlight? Yo! Guys, we just did a hundred summons, I think, and got nine five stars. What the heck? Like, like, huh? Why didn't I enter the 2000 Summons Challenge? Yeah, you're damn right. Why didn't I? Holy smokes. Is anyone keeping track of this? For real? It's, it's like, I, I bet his scribe there at home just taking note of this. He's got to be, surely. Like, it's, it's someone out of curiosity is taking note of what we've managed to pull. Where's the list? What did we even start with? That list is going to be... It's not It's not going to show us enough, right? No. Oh, man. Yeah, that was 8 in 90 summons. Bonkers. Right. Quick upgrade to 5 star. Alter this. So we'll quick select 3s. And if we head back in... Okay, no. So that was, that was 8 in 100, which is... As far as segments of summons go, that was pretty good. There's Bade. Nice. I don't deserve any more five stars. What? Another Mockman. Again? I can't believe this. I... I... <laughs> so we've had... I think four Mockmen. And... We're just over a thousand in. So, twice as many mock men as we should have got. And that's our second Eloise. <laughs> <laughs> Who did I bribe? I don't know. 
I, I, I just, I'm, I'm lucky. What can I say? I, as soon as it's my account, right? Unless it's the freaking gate of the void, in which case I get no spheres, right? Maybe that's what it's making up for. It's making up for my bad luck with spheres in the last few months. Oh, holy cow. I'm loving this. Right, how much backspace have we got? Oh, 80? Yeah, we're running out. That's not good. Another Mockman, maybe? Imagine. Mickey, five star. I don't need elite, I need food. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm getting absolutely uh, dunked on. <sighs> it's not like I already have any five Eloise or anything. All right, let's 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 clean this up. I, I think we should probably build another six star in each faction. So that, that's definitely doable. All right, let's go in. So we'll first of all, quick upgrade to five star. And then can I make a six star? I mean, I, I could, but like, dude, who? Who's it going to be? <laughs> oh, I don't even know. Fortress, how are you looking? Oh, Fortress is absolutely rammed as well. So many heroes, man. Right, for Shadow, who do we have five copies of? Who could I make? Right. Oh, I, I, I don't know. It doesn't really jump out to me that anyone I actually have five copies of. That's a shame. Abyss. Fat Moo, finally. I actually don't think I've made Fat Moo to 10 star. No, I haven't. Great. So Fat Moo is getting six starred. Let's go. Where are you, mate? Loving the sirens outside. It's the police, man. They've come to arrest me for good RNG. <laughs> Oh dear. All right, 90 more summons. Margaret, nice. Oh wow, two at once. OD and Gusta. That's our first double bomb actually, I think. Actually, no, that's a lie. Uh, I think we got two assassins at the same time. But apart from that, I don't think we've had any other double bombs. I might be wrong though. All right, Heroless is full again. So let's go back to tidying. Just quick upgrade to five. Alter our heroes, quick select threes, disassemble, and yeah, let's carry on. Fat Moo, nice. Karim, two five stars, sweet. And there we go, heroes is full again. <laughs> oh, Dear, right, quick upgrade to five star, churn these guys out. Now I can make some six stars. Uh, firstly, in the shadow faction, actually. Do I have, is anyone jumping out to me? Not really. Again, I don't have five copies of anybody. It's a pain. What about here, if I actually use these guys too? Oh, I have an Aiden, and I have three Aidens here. Oh, I'm bound to get another one. Let's make a six star Aiden. So yeah, we'll do that. Aiden plus all these guys for food. There you are. Now, Fortress can't make anyone, Abyss can't make anyone. I mean, I can in the Forest faction. I can make someone, but I don't want to waste Forest 5 stars. I'd rather use 6 stars that are dummies to build heroes, because I really need to stretch out my Forest heroes. So using them to make 6 stars isn't going to be clean, unless... Hmm... I make Olivia. Because I know I'm building her. That's not a terrible plan. That will get me some backspace. So I gotta unlock the level 100, Olivia. And that should be okay. Make Mockman for backspace. Duh! Yes! Obviously, right. Why don't I do that? Yeah, no brainer. Of course. So we need to pull one more Mockman, actually. Yeah, right. Let's let's get that final Mockman. We're close, right? So 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last mock man, then we'll do that. Also, whilst we're here, let's make Olivia. So we'll go Olivia, use the level 101. In goes a spare Olivia copy. And there's our little five star foddery guys. Six star Olivia for more backspace. Now we go to the altar. We're going to clear it out. Whoops. Oh, not forest. I don't want to filter by. F I, I, yeah, I'm just backing out. I, d I don't like when you accidentally misclick the forest. And who knows, you could end up destroying all your forest five stars and then tears will happen and I'll be very sad. And let's go. Why are people building Olivia? I'm building Olivia because I need her for forest seal land. Uh, there's an Aiden. And also I think she's very cool and she helps me in Star Expedition if I use a, a full lineup of E5s. Because there's a few methods for Star Expedition. One of them uses Sundevourer Eos and Vesa. There's another one where you actually build just a full PvE lineup. Um, and I think it will work nicely. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let's go back to the... Um, what am I What am I clicking? God damn Oh, I've got a thing in the gate of the void. Whilst we're here, we might as well open this egg. What do we get? <gasps> Nothing. Okay. Let's just, let's just open this boy then and back out. Bye bye. Right, okay. Alter. Ooh, no. First of all, quick upgrade to five. Come on. And for those of you wondering why I didn't just straight up take a Mockman out the bag to build the Mockman, it's because um, we're guaranteed to get one instantly into the account and it saves backspace, right? Keeping them in shard form is good. And holy crap! Amavul? Dude, he's got a 0.005% chance. That's freaking great. And there's an Emily and a Lutz. Holy cow. Fat Moo, sweet. Hero list is full again. Nice. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's quick upgrade. Oh, I can't quick upgrade to five star? Scammed. Right, alter. Quick select. Three stars. Boom. Let's go. Come on, give me this mock man. I'm ready for him. This is gonna be a pity mock man. <laughs> Ticks. <laughs> let's go. And there we go, hero list is full. Nice. So we're very close to Markman now. So quick upgrade to five, clear space, go to the altar. And there it is. Mockman's in. Oh, we got a Walter as well. Sweet. So, given the fact that we just got that Mockman, before we do anything else, we need to go ahead and build him up. So we're going to do the Fortune Ruins. And we're going to build him to 9 star. So, where are you, Mockman? Let me find him. So, put him here. Two more copies. And, yeah, we're just going to go with these darks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We need one more. Sleepless for 13. Nice. And then we will add these two and upgrade. That is a Mockman built. Now, do we have any more six stars in the dark faction i don't believe we do not for puppets anyway so we need to actually go flat build one that's fine though i think we can make well, we got plenty of food so i don't mind using like just dasmo sleeplesses just getting those cleared out because i'm never going to build them in fact i could just feed six sleeplesses together to get a six star sleepless yeah that's the play let's go creation circle and let's go six star sleepless using only himself so sleepless feeds to sleepless, and then more sleepless. One, two, three, four. Pretty sure we don't have anybody else that's like immediate food. No. Right, boom, six star sleepless. So now that plus a nine star is going to be a ten star mock man. Now the question is, do I have a nine star? Um, that is a very good question. I, I think so. Right? No, I have I have a 10 star. Do I have a 9 star puppet anywhere? Like just a chest? With with a 9 star puppet in? No. Ah. Problem. Okay. 
Time to build a nine star in a different faction. Let's go and build... Um, you know this Aiden? Let's build him. I think we have the copies for it. Might be a bit rough, but I'm not actually pining for shadow food. Good way of clearing stuff out as well. Abyss is also slammed on fodder. Hmm. So is Fortress. I mean, it doesn't really matter where we go. And use the 9-star Ignis. I could do, but it's it's nice to use Ignis' support every now and then. Um, sometimes I do actually use the 9-star Ignis for stuff, so... I don't want to totally get rid of it. If I just need an Ignis to die, I'd rather not use my E5, because sometimes she can just stick around, so it's nice to have my 9-star Ignis as and when I need it. Uh, I think we're fine for Shadow Food. We've got plenty, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping this. Let's let's go. So we're going to go Fortune Ruins, and we're going to build ourselves a 9-star Shadow Hero. So for that, I need to start with a 6-star. Uh, anyone will do. So I think I got, like, a couple of copies of Lutz. So, yep. Put these guys in. Then I need some more fodder. Uh, we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, no, just 4, isn't it? And then I think... I think we're okay on food. I might be wrong. But that's fine. We'll start with the Lutz. We'll then go and try and make a 9-star Aiden. If I need more fodder, I can always pull it out. So there's Aiden. We'll go with the 6-star. Go with one more Aiden copy. And now I have 1, 2, 3. Yeah, I need more food. Oh, then again, ticks is food now, isn't he? I, I need 9 ticks. So let's go double check. How many ticks do I have? I have... In the bag... One, two, three, four, five, six, right? And then I have seven for this level 101. These two level twos are eight and nine, so they're fodder. Also, I'm pretty confident that every Eloise copy I have is for... No, actually, I might need um, Eloise copies for a second Eloise if I ever want to push Shadow Seal End. So yeah, that's not happening. I will use the Tixes as food, though. I have one, two, three, four, five, six Eloises here. Oh, I have seven here? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can keep... I only need two of these copies. All right, that's all right then. No, so yeah, three of these Eloises are food. Yeah, that's fine. So three Eloises food. Gustin I'll keep. I'll lock down the Gustins if I haven't already. Uh, two of the Tixes are food. So one, two, three, four, actually. Four Eloises are food. One, two, three, four, five, six with the two Tixes. And then, yeah, seven, eight, no, nine, it's perfect. This may make some of you physically throw up, but welcome to being a late game player. This is the importance. You have to keep nine copies around. After that, you don't need any for a lot of heroes. Um, so yeah, anyone that's like, ouch, uh, uh, you're not using your brain. You're just using your instinct, right? So let's go get a nine star Aiden. Duh, duh, duh. And get him built. So put these guys in and Yep, they're all food, food. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Bam, nine star Aiden. So now if we go to the mock man, we can feed two copies of himself, sleepless and Aiden awaken. 10 star mock man, made. Right, I'll leave him for now. Claim our rewards. Excellent. How much backspace has that made? <sighs> Loads. Love that. So if we go to the altar, can we also clear three stars? We actually can. We've got some. Nice. Not a lot, mind you, but still we got some. So let's carry on with our summons then. Flame strike. Sweet. Sigmund. Oh, we're on the final pass. Oh, good. <laughs> that's that's relief. <laughs> I don't want to do anymore. It's hurting me. Daddy, please make it stop. All right, let's carry on. Uh, right. Yeah, quick upgrade to five star. Oh, this is the one thing about Anniversary and Chinese New Year and all that. You use a lot of scrolls. <laughs> I 
I don't think I've done 2,000 on one event in a very long time. I even think at Christmas and Chinese New Year, we did 1,000 and that was it. So this is the first time the VIP series has ever done 2,000 in one week. Stop while you're ahead. No, I need to do 2,000, Chad Medic. I, I have to do 2,000 for the event. Double Valkyrie and a Unimax. Nice. And there we go. Here it is full again, so we'll clear it out. You know the drill by now. Quick rate to five. Wow, that was a lot we made. Hey, now we're talking. Also, where are we at? Just gotta keep monitoring it. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Okay, we still only got like, what? A, what's that? 20, 220 left? More like 210. There's Mark, man. Cool. So, yeah. I think we'll have one extra Mockman than normal, because we've managed to pull six Mockman organically, which is just stupid. There's an Oberon. And no, 220 Dirtry. If it said 280, so unless you've just forgotten how to do maths. And that was uh, almost an Adelacium, by the way. Very nice. And we're at a point now where it is 110 left. I'll just do 100 to play it safe. Because we've still got daily heroic summons to do. Actually, no, I, 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 I got a few days left. I'm not going to max out the event just yet because I have, um, I still need to use my starry gems to switch across. So I'm not actually going to have all of my flashy lights. So we're not going to do the final part of the flashy lights. We're just going to do the ones that you do as a free-to-play player. We'll do the other part in the next episode. Um, so yeah, just going to do 100 summons. Should be pretty easy here. Nothing too wild. Also, kind of disassemble three stars. Not that I see there. So we'll just do, yeah, uh, bleaker here, which is good. Almost again. Nice. And I should pull Mockman out the bag for armor. Let like, dude, backspace. I mean, we could do. It's fine. I just just don't particularly want to jump on that yet. I will do that at the end of the event. Um, just because I need as much backspace as I can get my hands on. Molasso. Wow, we're getting loads of five stars. So, yeah, we'll just finish up with one final quick upgrade. We will alter for a final time on our three stars. And then now I'm going to have a look. Where are we at with our summons? I'll just do ten. The lucky ten. Here it is. Gusta. Sweet. So, <laughs> let's assess the damage. First of all, I have 23 five stars, right? So that's nice. In addition, I got a lot more five stars just sitting in the bag. And now we need to crack on with destroying things, replacing them, and it's going to be nuts. So I think, oh, I, I'm scared to get rid of Sword Flash, but that's step one, right? It's Sword Flash and Halora are going. And they're becoming Freya and Jara, which is honestly mind-breaking. Because it means I have to take them out of Interdimensional Arena. I need to take them out of everywhere. It's, yeah, it's heartbreaking to see, but it has to be done. So, yeah. Let's Trial of the Champions closed. Star Arena, I haven't set a defensive team for. I find it a tedious and boring game mode. It's getting reworked, though, which is nice. And yeah, let's claim all those rewards. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and I'll see if we can go and undo them in the evolution cube. So replace. Place a transcendence hero to the slot on the left to replace them. Okay. What do we just straight up regress? Wait. Oh, the Cloud Island. Oh, and they are on my defensive lineup for Star Arena. Oh, this game. Right. But they're not, though. Right, I'll set a lineup. Glory. No, actually, I need to swap Gloria. Uh, who, who am I definitely not swapping? Vessa. There you go. Boom. Match up. No, 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 no. Oh, cock. Either way, I'll, I didn't mean to press match up. But there we go. Now in the Celestial Island, things are going to get wild. Because we're going to remove our Sword Flash. Crazy. Uh, you think Regress is better? Yeah, I think it is. 
because I'm going to regress the heroes anyway. Let's, let's just see what they do, right? Swapping is going to take us down a peg. No, I think regress is definitely the option. So if we put Halora here... <laughs> oh my god. I get nine queen copies. Wait, I, I get other stuff as well, right? I, I'm not getting scammed. Yes, you do. I did that a few weeks ago. Okay, Lincoln. I will take your word for it. And what you mean you get everything-ish? I don't like ish. Okay, I'm just going to regress and we'll see what happens. Uh... Okay, let's have a look. Oh, okay, we're good. Gents, we get everything. Backup stones, we get... Crystals of Transcendence, all the gold, all the spirit, all the armor they were wearing, the Transcendence flag, all the Stellar Shards, all the magic dust. Okay. Yeah. Good, thank god. Okay. Yeah, I've just never done Transcendence regressing before. Because you know DH games can be sneaky. Right, okay, and let's uh, regress Sword Flash as well. <laughs> Say bye-bye. So there's all the Sword Flash copies. There's everything. Just, yep. Yeah, it's all coming out. Whoo! Look at that. I get even more stellar shards, but that's because of the spiritual essence from the Tree of Origin, which I get back as well. And now I have gear that's not attuned to them, which is a bit of a sad thing. And, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Yo! Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that just the best? And Vipe, no judgment, but why do you need to do this for your account? You will see. Sit back and watch, man. Trust the process. <laughs> you won't believe this VIP 10 account. What, I just to screenshot all this stuff and make it a stupid clickbait thumbnail? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. So, now it's time to get enough Jaras out. We have one, two. In the bag, I have none. But if I go to my chests... I have a lot of these transcendence chests that they've given us in the past, so I need seven jars from here. So we'll just pull out those, and we'll back in, and we'll grab our seven jar copies. Ta-da! So, if I go to Heroes, Eloise, I can swap her. So convert, and I will replace her with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, I had a spare jar! Well, now I feel like an idiot. But that's fine. Don't worry about it. Replace the Heroes Awaken. Yeah, okay, whatever. And now we have Jara at E5. Cool. Now that that's done, let's go Transcend her. So Gate the Void, Evolution Cube, and Starving Jara. Put an RE5. And make. Ta-da. Starving Jara has been made. And we're going to do exactly the same now, but with Freya, who we're going to swap Heart Watcher into, because I don't actually need Heart Watcher now that I have Vessa, because Vessa's a joke in broken spaces. And yeah, there's no need for it. I also have Antlers Cane and all that stuff. So yeah, anyone that's backseating going, no, keep Heart Watcher. Um, no, I'm good. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Freyas. So we'll use five of them converting in. Okay, we need to unlock the Heart Watcher. There we go. So we're going to start with, um, where the heck are they? Oh, they're locked. Ah, balls. Right, where's the Freya? I have, I think, a level 100 Freya that's really strong. Where is she? Uh, there she is. So I need to make sure she's unlocked. And ideally, all the E tiers need to be unlocked. Because the E tier ones are crap, so I want them to be inside the hero. Also, if I have, like, additional Freya copies just floating, I'll want them inside as well. But I'm just going to unlock every single Freya I have. So let's go. Yeah, these are fine. Come on. All right, that's good. So, Heart Watcher. Convert. And we're going to go Fancy Freya. That's our level 100 one. Uh, where is she? This is the bottom. And then I'll use E's. So E, E, E plus, E plus. And that's fine. So we'll convert in there. Replace. 
Freya's been made. That should make her C with a B in attack. Yep, B minus with holy damage as well, which is nice. And now I need to make her higher and higher. So, uh, things, first things first is, I guess, enabling. So we've got all these nine star puppets. So let's get cracking with those. Uh, we're going to go with an E plus there. Enable. We're going to go with another one here. Got a D minus. Yeah. We're going to go again. And look, if you don't know why we're doing it, you'll, you'll find out, right? Uh, rather than me explaining every single 10 minutes when a new person tunes in, that's like, what the heck is going on? Just just trust the process, okay? Yes, you can replace your Transcendence Heroes. Yes, it costs you nothing if you have the Soul Stones for it. Yes, it's totally fine if you know what you're doing, right? So just to be brief, I don't need Sword Flash anymore. That's why we're doing this. So trust it. Trust the process. Right, let's drop another 10 star. Let's pop in another D minus Freya. <laughs> and just keep on going. And then finally, let's get it to E5. Here we are. Another 10 star. I have so many 10 stars. And I love how everyone was worried about promotion stones. The amount of regressing we're doing, we're going to get so many promotion stones back. Now let's bump her up to level 350. Bye bye gold. Bye bye spirit. And yeah, that's pretty sweet. So let's make her a transcendence hero as well. So evolution cube. All to the end, because she's the new girl on the block. And there she is. Made and ready. Mystic Fairy Freya. Sexy. Okay, so. Two heroes in. We're looking good. And they need to be imprinted. But we're not going to do that straight away. Actually, no, we should do that straight away. Because I don't want to accidentally run out of food. So let's just quick enhance all the way around the outside for both Freya and Jara. And then I'll see you in a second. Okay, let's have a look. We have Void for Jara and Void for Freya now alongside of Void for Vessa. Look at sexy. So that was an easy switch up and it didn't cost us anything apart from soul symbols. So now comes the next question. Who else are we going to build? Yes, we've lost Heartwatcher here, but that's fine. Uh, now, as we don't have Sword Flash, we actually need to get rid of our tenants for her. So Gloria is going. Bye bye, Gloria. A lot of her, you know, things she's done for us have been fantastic. She's been an excellent tenant, but she's going to become a new tenant now. And if you go ahead and look in the Celestial Island and look at Vessa, Vess's tenants are as follows. And it, you'll actually see a trend here, guys. It's almost like we know what we're doing. Freya is a tenant, and Jara is a tenant for Vessa. We'll also need Flora in here, so I'll have to go and build her. And Rogan, we already have. So Flora is the missing link. So if we go out of our way to get her, that'll be fantastic. So Flora copies. How many do I have just sitting around? We have one, two, three, which is, you know, it's not the best number in the world, but three will do. Oh, we've got this one that's an E+, plus, but it's got a D- minus in attack, so that's nice. That was my first awakening on a floor, and my only ever awakened floor, because I would hate to accidentally get a B-tier floor. But we have one, two, three, and then... That is it for flora copies that aren't pulled out the bag. So we have another five here. So that takes us to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I need one more. So we're probably going to get that from just a bag I, I don't really mind a chest somewhere something is there a chest somewhere i can just grab one yep here so i'll just grab a floor from this i don't think there's a way i can pick one up no nah, there's no need so let's just go flora 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 where did she come out yo it would be there just before anosuke nice so here's flora nice Alrighty, so Gloria, it's your time to get swapped. So let's convert this. Oh, here is locked. Yeah, it's understandable. So we'll start with these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. So that is going to be Flora made. Now she should instantly become E1 on the back of this because it's the best awakened tier we have. Yep. Not E1, sorry, uh, E plus. Freudian slip there. You'd rather she was E5. <laughs> uh, did the imprints pass over? Oh, no. No, they don't. You just get them back. Oh. Okay. That's cool. So we can make her um, 
void three, which is good. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that because it's good stats, right? With that flora built, I think we have to settle Vesa as a homeowner. So let's get that in. Let's go to the Cloud Island and put her down. That sounds like a weird sentence. <laughs> yeah, put her down, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm joking. Right, here goes Vesa, and she is a homeowner now. And in here, we're going to have Rogan. Right, which, which Rogan is... Oh, well, there's one that's Void 3. I guess there's one that's going to have more attack, right? Let's go see which Rogan has the most attack and ensure that he's the one that's imprinted. So this is coming in as a 2216. And the other Rogan who is not, is 2074. Okay, so yeah, that's just a better Rogan. So 2216 is good, yeah. So my boy is going in, and we'll pop him down. So here we are, put in Rogan. Yep, just gives way better stats. And then this one is going to be for Freya. This one's going to be for Flora, and then Jara. And yeah, considering we haven't tuned this up, those stat bonuses are looking good on our Vessa now. Cannot wait to bring our B-minus Vessa across. I wonder how high we're going to get this attack on her. Because, I mean, dude, look at that. It's not even that high. 157. <laughs> There's so much more tuning we can do on this. Ha 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 ha. Either way, what are we looking at here? Oh my god, Freya needs a stone! And she needs armor. Yo, so we need to actually attune that armor to her as well. Same for Jara, right? Because I have... Resonance armor for mage, which is currently attuned to Holmes Young. So we got some armor attuning to do. That's not fun at all. <laughs> That's going to be a while. Uh, huh. So anyway, let's get Freya's stone in. So let's upgrade this. What do you think we'll get? Will it be easy? I mean, we want probably speed attack if she's a tenant or speed HP, something like that. Speed is good. HP, HP works good. Attack HP works as well. Anything goes, really. Also, you got to remember that we probably want a stone that will work well for her as a tenant and one that will work well for her in formations. Attack, attack, armor break. Okay, and speed heal effect. All right, okay. So I'm going to get her a backup stone. So let's bring him in. Okay, crit armor break. Nope. Speed precision. Nope. Block attack. I mean, it's got an attack component. That we don't lose anything by saving it. Attack, attack, holy damage. Instantly better. Okay, nice. That's just good in general. So I'm going to get another backup stone here. And we're going to keep swapping. Crit armor break again. Yikes. Crit HP. Good HP component. Might as well save it. Block attack. Am I going to run her in a Siohu team? I mean, I could, right? And it does give more attack than attack, attack, holy damage. Actually, it could do. It depends on how the 1,550 scales up. Uh, so it, it could go either way, actually. Let's, uh, let's have a look. If I stick this armor on her, for example, in a Transcendence flag, what gives a better bonus? So will the attack go up or down? Oh, it went up by a sizable chunk. So actually, block attack is a better stone here. Interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and swap. Speed precision. No. Crit HP again. HP effect of being healed. Speed attack. Nice. Okay, I'll save that. All good stuff. Okay. I'm happy with those. So we have block attack, speed attack, and attack attack holy damage. Sick. Okay. Now, Vessa. You're fine. I mean, there are better stones for her than just crit crit attack, but right now, that's fine. Okay, Starring Jar, you have block attack and attack attack holy damage because she was, um, well, she was an Eloise. Both of these are good, like, just straight up. Although I do want speed on her, so let's get her anything with speed. Speed precision? Well, no. Try again. Speed crit! Oh, yeah. Nice. If we wanted to fine-tune them as tenants, we'd go with attack attack, but... I'm in no hurry to do that. So now that we've got Jara, Vesa, Freya, all with stones, let's go look at Vesa's stats now. Okay, she's getting there. She's nearly at 2 million. Not bad. Okay. Now she's, again, not, not finished, not finally tuned. What was the next hero on our list? Mm hmm. Yep, done that, done that, done that. Olivia! So to build the Olivia, 
we need to use those dummies we just grabbed. So let's pull them out. Here we are. We also have a lot of forest food, so if we need it, we can pull it out and use it. Uh, right now, though, I think we're good. Yeah, looking at this, we're pretty stacked. So I'm not immediately worried about fodder. But I may change that sentence very soon. So let's go 9-star Olivia. We're going to put in the 6-star copy we made. Put in a copy here. And then 9 heroes to use as food. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. In fact, I have Zekuses that I can use. And we'll just use a Demon Hunter. The two 6-stars. Olivia is 9-star. Now I need another 6-star Olivia. That's... Sh oh, no, not Olivia. Uh, sorry, just another 6-star hero. That should totally be easy, though. I have plenty of heroes to use as food. Yeah. Who's it going to be? Who do I have two copies of? No, not you, Oberon. Well, I mean, to be fair, actually, Oberon would be food. I have Edgars. I have Facelesses. Did I ever build Dragon Slayer as 10-star? Dragon Slayer was one of these heroes I just never built. Uh, yeah, I did, so that's fine. So we can use him as food. Yeah, let's just make a six-star Edgar. Okay, let's go. So Edgar, 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 Edgar. There he is. So one and two. And we're going to use these, 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 and the other Edgar. Now ah, we'll use Starlight. I'm going to save a faceless because I have two in the bag. So I could start building faceless if I wanted. Either way, that's good. And now Olivia. Let's get you made up. So, two Olivia copies, six star Edgar, and any of the nine stars we have here. Confirm, awaken, there you go. Ten star Olivia, made, built, ready to go. We need some more nine stars now. So we have one here. We've got Olivia coming in. And that's going to be... Yep, E1. And as a question in chat, is Oberon bad? Yeah, Oberon sucks. He's probably the worst elite hero. I, I can't think of a game mode I'd use him in. Then again, someone's going to come up with some weird use for him and be like, mm, actually, you can use him in this. <laughs> it, it, uh, it has happened. And okay, we need to unlock some Olivia's. So let's get these. And yeah, just these two here. And they're the final two copies we need. So pop you there. Olivia here, confirm. And then E5 Olivia. Pretty much there and ready to go. Yup. Beauty. Nice. Now, obviously, this is all over the place, so we need to give her unbending will. And control purify. Everything else is good. Alright. Let's give her a, a stone. Might as well, right? HP, speed HP, anything like that. Just to keep her alive. Ooh, HP, HP coming in straight on Soulstone 1. I'd love to keep it, but oh, HP, heal effect, and attack. Final one. Attack, attack. <laughs> no. Oh, man. That's ironic. The one stone we wanted. Keep. I mean, yeah, it's actually not terrible. I will get a backup stone. No, that's going to happen. All right, let's go. Um, convert. Let's get HP in here. Oh, attack, attack. Holy damage. <laughs> I'm actually not keeping it. Not for an Olivia. Block attack. Again, I'm not keeping it for an Olivia. Attack HP. Instant upgrade. Nice. Although I do want HP HP. Oh, HP attack. Holy damage. No. HP effect of being healed. Now that's a good tanky, really tanky stone. I want to keep that. But yeah, I'm going to keep HP attack and I'm going to keep uh, HP effect of being healed because they're both really good. I really like HP effect of being healed. I'm not going to go hard swapping for HP, HP. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go with this. So cool. All righty. Nice. What's a good stone for Sherlock? There's plenty of good ones. Uh, depends what you're building, really. Anything like uh, well, attack, attack. If you're using him with a, uh, uh, a AMB speed attack, same reason. Um, like Sherlock just. It's a, there's so many different builds for Sherlock. Sherlock's probably one of the most versatile heroes in the game when it comes to how to build him, just because he's that good, right? There's so many different ways you can build him. He's the te most probably most technically diverse heroes. Swap the Rogans with Pandas. No! I'm going to have double Rogan and double Panda. I want options, pal. It's time to say bye to Anosuke now, as he is no longer useful. 
because I don't have a sword flash. So bye bye. Time to get rid of him. So he's locked. Not anymore, he ain't. And we're going to regress Anosuke. So he is out of here. Goodbye. That's going to get us a ton of food, which we can then use to upgrade Andrea. Nice. So Andrea is a nice sustain hero that we're going to be using. And it's finally a light hero on the account. Nice. Okay. Actually good. So yeah. And what about regressing Ignis? I mean, dude, uh, <laughs> Anosuke is more useless than Ignis. That I will say without a doubt. I need four Andreas. Do I have any currently summoned? Um, I don't believe I do. No. So we need four Andreas pulled and ready. So let's get this boy out. Summon those. And that should be enough for E5. So Andrea, come on in. Look at that promotion stone level. It, it's, it's gone up. It's not gone down. It's gone up. <laughs> I swear at some point we had like 150,000. Oh, dear. And oh, you're not being one head. We, we are going to get rid of Ignis at some point. There's a lot of heroes that we need to get rid of. Fiona can go. Ignis can go. Um, Delacium can go. It's just we don't have forest food, right? The one thing we're lacking is all the food needed to build people like Siahu and that. And um, yeah, confirm all this. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's based. This event's... This event gives six stars. Yo, no, I, I, I'm absolutely capping all over the place. Where do I get six stars this event? Any of these? <gasps> Forest food. Dude. That is poggers. Does this one give it as well? Oh, it doesn't. Eh, but it gives nine stars. Yo! Food! Let's go. Okay, guys. It's food time. It's freaking food time. Okay, let's get some... Yeah, it's four forest six stars. <laughs> okay, let's get cracking. We've got 250 of these, so I'm just going to go cheer 10 on this. Bam! All right. That got nothing. Let's go again. Oh, there we go. Finally filling in some of those. Oh, so satisfying. And now we'll do our singles. Boop. Yep. Although we're going to get so many fills in here. There's a double. Boop. And again. Oh, that wasn't one. Well, that's just sad. But now we'll get a double here. Oh, it's a triple because we get the diagonal. Nice. And then finally, this will be two. And guys, it was the last one. How? How was it the last one? Because that's that's just that's just a perfect screenshot. Look at that. That's just oh thumbnail. <laughs> I mean it's not. <laughs> Imagine, yeah, that's the thumbnail that summarizes everything that's happened here today. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, not like sword flash in the bin is a way better thumbnail. Oh dear. Right, okay, either way. Done and dusted. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we can claim our reward. Oh, no. No. Do I get Essence Sublimation? Or do I get a Mysterious Artifact? Ah, uh, these choices. No. Oh. Better to go for an artifact on an account that's got a million artifacts? I have so many artifact chests. I have 13. Flags are still good, but I only need one more flag at the moment. It's got to be Essence. Like, this is the new stuff, right? It's the new powered up, going to make Jara absolute diddling strong. Like, we've got to do it. Got to grab that. Ah, yeah, claim all. There we go. Sublimation chest. It's done. It's done. Can't go back now. No more, no more artifacts. It's the VIP series. We're already absolutely stacked on artifacts. It, it might be a mistake, but they give artifacts a lot more than they give those sublimation chests. So yeah, we're all, we're all fine. We're all fine. You need four to five demon bells now. Pow, I have four splendids. What more do you want from me? <laughs> like, heck, I think I have five. 
<laughs> and I have 13 artifact chests. And I have... 2,000 glorious relics. Get off my freaking back, chat. Right? It's go, go for artifacts. It's the best choice. <laughs> Guys, come on. I'm swimming in artifacts. Oh, man. I'm VIP 10. Like, this isn't one of my account reviews where you're VIP 10, but you spent it all on freaking awakened heroes and you haven't got any artifacts at all. No, it's me, the man who has too many artifacts and not enough almost workshop essence and refuses to buy it for $50. Because <laughs> I'm like, nah, too expensive. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Anyway, on the topic of being an idiot, let's... um. Let's level up this Andrea. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on a second. Dude, I've just built two E5s. I still have two and a half billion spirit. Yo, why did that number not go down? Oh my god. Right, I, I still have way more progress to make. Oh, it's because we didn't level up Olivia. That's why. Okay, now that makes way more sense. That makes way more sense. Okay, that's why it wasn't going up, because I didn't spend it. Okay. So, I still got another E5 in the tank, man. And that'll get us to 15 E5s. Sweet. Okay, so... We got 9 stars as well. Hmm. Yeah, we do. Okay, let's go back to the event. Let's let's carry on with cashing in our anniversary constant nonsense. So, yeah, let's get these in. Uh, also, guys, I have all these chests... I might as well open these as well. Cheering quests. I've got my five-star heroes. I haven't even finished our heroic summons yet. I haven't even spent enough gems. I mean, I haven't even spent half enough of the gems I need to. Are you kidding me? God damn it. You know what? You know why that is? I haven't bought the growth plan yet. <laughs> Bye. Ka-ching. Let's start claiming our rewards. Oh, so much progress. Look at that. Stellar Shards, Cause of Transcendence. Mmm. Now we're talking. That is better. So much better. Okay, okay. Let's go back in then. Now it's gonna like me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Way more chests. 74 out of 100. Yeah, now we're talking. Okay. Right, let's open some of these bad boys. Let's see what we get. 174. Yo, that's a big number. All right, what do we get? 34 of these, and oh, promotion stones. Remember all those people that were like, oh, you gotta run out of promotion stones, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, let's go to this one now as well. 49. Is that gonna be more heroic summon scrolls? It is, isn't it? Forget those crystal things too. Got 12 of them, nice. 245, nice. Obviously it's fixed, so it's not like it's a high roll. It is just a roll. Now, let's carry on. Let's do our cheers, right? 500. Nice. So let's cash this in. Okay, and again. And then we'll do our singles. Let's get some guild coins from that. Nice. Okay. Tons of spirit. Elite heroes. And promotion stones again. A call. And some- wait, there's arena tickets in this? Yo, I didn't even realize. <laughs> Yo, a hundred arena tickets are actually kind of nice, man. And yeah, there is our anniversary replacements and a hundred million gold. All right, that's nice. And we're going to back up now. I can claim this. It's absolutely a flag, right? But it's, it's not this. The bottom one is no. Flag, please. Thank you. And then finally this one. The Sunbaked Desert. Let's go. What are we grabbing? Nothing there. Let's go again. And then, hey, now our rewards are coming in. Even more cores. Nice. Gets himself some wood. Just how he likes it. Wishing coins and replacements. Elite docks. There's the center. So we got a ton of things coming in there. Elite lights, wishing coins, and those crystal things. And finally, we get all of this stuff here. Nice. So, <laughs> where, where, where does that put us? Uh, yeah, we get ourselves a mysterious artifact selection chest. Sweet. And I still have 219 left, so we can do one pass on here, which is going to get me nine star puppet selection chests. And we're going to do this twice. So that's epic. So let's go cash in. Now, we're not going to do it twice straight away. We're going to do one today. We'll do the other half later. 
Okay, good. Tons of rewards coming in here. Nice. And we get the glorious relics. Sweet. There's our nine star chest. There's more relics. Even more coming through. Oh, loads of cores. And then again, <laughs> even more. And there's an imminent hero selection chest. Yo, is, uh, is Freya in this? Yes, that's epic. Cool. All right. And yeah, that, that's, that's clean. Do you reckon we go again? Oh, I can't. I only have 44 left. Oh, right. But I am going to grab uh, this, right? Core of Origin shards. That's the way to go. So we're going to grab a Core of Origin selection chest, which is awesome. Now, obviously, that's only half of what we need, but we'll grab the other half later. But for now, that's us in a pretty good position. Let's go cash in the nine star chests and the six star puppets. Yeah, this feels good. So let's grab this. It's going to be anything. It doesn't matter. It's just a nine star puppet. I don't know why nine star puppets are faction specific and why it even lets you choose because it's pointless. And oh my goodness, look at all the five stars I've got. This is stupid. And what do we do now? I think we just build up a forest hero from scratch. We totally can. I've got enough forest food just sitting around that it's doable. But who's it going to be? See who. It's absolutely see who time. All right, how many see who copies are already out? Let's see, we have one. Need to unlock this, yep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's a Freya, okay. So do I have any more just sitting around? No, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need two more from the bag. So we'll grab these two. And let's go ahead and use those chests we got. And we're going to need them all for forest heroes. So that's an easy pull. And let's get them in. Now we go back to the forest faction. Let's pull out some fodder. So we've got facelesses. We've got, I guess, I don't want to use Vesser as fodder. Oberon's fodder, Heartwatch's fodder. I got spare Olivia's now that can totally be fodder. So yeah, plenty of crap. But for now, let's see if I've got enough just generic crap before having to crack into what I've already got. So let's see if I can just use what we've got before we go into the bag and pull anything else out. So nine star see who, where are you? In fact, could we go straight to 10 star? <laughs> it's worth a shot. We do have the puppets, so it's not a bad idea. We need 13 there. Got to make sure we got our five copies though. So one, two, three, four in there. Level 100 comes in. And, oh, it didn't save. It's annoying. Oh, what the heck? It reset the whole thing? I hate it when it does that. So if you put the hero copy in last, it resets everything you've put in. Right, now we need 13 heroes. Oof. Okay. Uh, Molassa, Facelesses, Edgars. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh, Heart Watchers or Valkyries? Valkyries, six, seven, eight, nine... And then, I guess, is it 10, 11, 12, 13 with heart watches? Oh, no, 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 no. Oberons. Get out of here, Oberon. you got no friends. Right, so double checking that list because it's giving me anxiety. Facelesses, Edgars, Molasses, Valkyries, Oberons. Yeah, that's, that's good. Okay, great. Boom. That's a 10-star Seahu. Good. All right, where are you, mate? Let's get you... Enabled. Dummy. Boom. Let's make him. And I could do calls for more food? Damn right I can. So that's happening today as well. Now, do we go in fate or guidance, chat? It's always fate, right? Although, a bit of me wants to go in guidance considering the stellar shards are doubly important now. Hmm... But we could high roll in fate. It's been a while. It's been a good while. All right, let's level this boy up. Quick upgrade. There we go. 350. Nearly enough for another E5, you know. And that, wait, is that 15 E5s? Oh, 
it is. Now that is a sight. We got 45. Yo, that would be three lots of Stellas, man. Now, do I need more Seer Who copies? Whilst we're here, that is worth double checking. Because I have just built one, so I'm going to need nine more. I have only four. So yeah, I absolutely do need to see who copies. I'm, I'm really excited. I hope we get a ton of spheres. Okay, one. Great start. Uh, we're, we're, we're in a good position. This is fine. One is good. All right, let's go again. Back in fate. Let's get another one. Two! Yeah! Yeah, you going guidance Andes get ruined! Let's go! Look at all the light and darks as well. That's three light heroes and a Dazmog. Sick. Okay, okay. No forest heroes though, that's not what I want. Okay, now go guidance. Oh, Darcy, where's the fun in that? Quit whilst you're ahead? Bro, if I was using real money, absolutely. But as I'm not using real money, we're having a laugh. All right, okay, watch me get more spheres now. Here we go. Oh, Ithaca, that's kind of sexy. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. hey, hey. And a queen. And here we go, final 10. Let's see it. Oh, hero list is full. Sorry, sorry. The tension must remain for but a moment. And uh, here, wait, hero list is full is concerning because I, oh, I just have a lot of five stars. <laughs> uh, Houston, we have a problem. Uh, right. Oh. Holy six stars! Because we've been regressing so aggressively. Oh, chat! How many five star dummies do I have? my mans look at this oh okay we might need to build some nine star food just saying in fact i think 10 star food is also an option so yeah uh remember that fat moo we made i think he's getting hungry so let's go and make him to i think we could go straight to 10 star with him it might sound wild, but I think it's true. Do we have a spare nine star? Ooh, I'm not feeding Russell, that's bad. But I can go straight to nine star. Look at that, we're putting the dummies, putting the six star fat moo, just instant build, uses these guys as well. Upgrade, bam. So that clears us some room. And uh, we can do absolute the same thing in the fortress faction. If you look, we got an Oberon here. That's not an Oberon. We got an Ormus we can go ahead and make. So let's just nine star Ormus using all the dummies. Nice and clean. Ormus is in. Six star Ormus. So yeah, upgrade. Done. So that should have cleared a good chunk of backspace. For the final 10, let's go. We're going to get a ton of spheres now. Watch. You ready? Hup. It's sphere time. Bollocks. Average! Actually, no, it's above average because we did 40. Technically... Technically, we should do five more to be exactly even with Guidance, right? So let's do five singles, okay? Okay, here we go. Eh. One. That's a Darkness Vanilla. Two. That's a Fagan. Come on, watch me get the Sphere, boys. N nope, that's that's a Windwalker. Let's, let's go. Oh! That's a sphere. That's four. We could get another one. We could get to five, okay? Totally could get two spheres back to back. Right? W for the win? You think so? Faceless. You know what, guys? Four from 45 is high roll. Let's see if it'll let me regress Fiona now. If it will, excellent. So let's go. Convert. Regress. Yep. Good. Excellent. So we get all of our stuff back. And that should be enough to go ahead and build up carry. So carry, carry, carry. Dark faction. Here we go. I need a dark six star. 
Fortunately for you, I can clear out some backspace by using all of these Dark Arthur dolls. Although I don't need to use all of them. Let's keep nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, nine. Oh, I have ten. Uh, yeah, fine. 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 I'll use that smoke. All right, let's go six star that smoke. So pop you in with copy one. Copy two. We'll save five if we ever want to build a ten star for the memes. We can use the Dark Arthur dollars food. And then we can use these two as food. And then one more as food. We'll just go with another Dark Arthur doll. No one cares. Oh, I've got a sleepless. Actually, that's a better decision. So there you go. Six star. Desmo. Why keep DA memories? That's why. Dark Arthur doll used to be one of my favorite heroes. So, yeah. All right, carry. Let's get you up. So two copies of carry come in. With a six star. With a nine star. Done. That is going to be ten star carry. Awakened. Now I need to unlock the carry copies that we have. Let's get those done. Yup. And let's crack on. So nine star there. Carry in there. E1. Let's go with E2. And then we'll just use 10 stars all the way up to E5. And you're right, DA was nuts back in the day. Back in the E3 meta. In the very brief <laughs> post-DA buff E3 meta before the third anniversary. That was a good time. And there you go. E5 carry. So now we need to muck around with her a little bit. Uh, what are we going to do with her enables? So we're just going to switch these up. I think we're going to go with attack, lethal fight back. Uh, control Purify or Shared Fate either works. Depends what we're using her for. And then Unbending Will, but you could go with Balance Strike if you just needed her to die. Doesn't really matter too much. I could give her a stone as well, but I'm not going to race into that. Uh, stones can come later. Uh, we will level her up to 350 though. So let's get that up. Done. Alright, okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, next on our build list is... Yeah, it's the final Seer Who copy which is going to come from Delacium getting wrecked. So do we have enough forest heroes for this? We, sh we should. I say that tentatively, though, because I'm unsure if we have enough forest heroes. I mean, surely with all these four stars, we can build up enough. So let's get cracking with Seer Who's now. So we got four copies here. So that's the beginnings of a nine star. So let's go to Creation Circle and let's get him to nine star. So I got this and this. I got copy one. And then two, three. Now I need 13 fodder heroes. Fortunately, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we can use Valkyrie and Faceless for 12 and 13. With these guys, easily done. Nine star Seer Who. So we should be sitting around with one copy of Seer Who. We're going to need, I think, five more. So I have some elite hero shards. First of all, I'm going to pull these to see if we get one. And we got an Oberon we can use as food. And we've got two Vessas. Excellent. We can use those for Awakens. And we've got Garuda. That's some more fodder we can use. Everyone else is, you know, it's, it's not a bad bunch of elite heroes that actually. So I'll take that. And now we need to go pull. I guess we should pull this, shouldn't we? Yeah, it's a Dragon Slayer. And let's get some Seahu copies. So I still need five. So if I go to the bag, I have loads of chests. This is one fortunate thing about all this hoarding we've done over the last year. <laughs> I was trying to think of a better word and I was like, no, it's it's been a year. <laughs> Some of these chests have literally sat on this account since the very beginning, which is kind of scary. Make of that what you will. Uh, but let's go. We're going to pull out this. That's going to be two Seer Who copies. Let's get my man in. So one, two. And then three. And then we need four and five. So this one. And finally, this one. So that should be five Seer Who copies. And then we're also going to regress this to Lacium because I need all the food from him. So let's go to convert. Regress. Bye-bye. Wait, what? Ah, oh, I don't have the hero space. Oh, God, okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. Oh, look at the... It's the freaking Fortress faction again. Of course. Of course it is. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Why am I even surprised? Okay. Obviously, all this regressing has come to bite me in the back. So, Emily, let's make you nine star. So, <laughs> let's get her in. Here we go. All this food. Om nom nom nom. And let's instantly replace it with abyss food. Delacium go bye bye. So, convert, regress. And there it is. Claim. And finally, guys, we have this final bit of food, which is going to go inside our Siahu. So, time to level them up. One, two, stick in the Garuda. And all that food from Delacium is now going to go into Siahu. And we've done it! Oh my word, I did not think the transformation was fully going to happen today. Honestly, it's, it's a surprise. It really is. But... It's great. Absolutely great. So there we go. E3 on Siahu. And then... Put these guys in. And we're good. You guess the food's not enough for level 350? Well, you, uh, unfortunately, you're, you're wrong. Right? <laughs> Like, it, it takes 900 million, so yeah. It, your guess is not even a guess. <laughs> the, the numbers are right there <laughs> on screen. Uh, oh, oh, oh no. Chat, you know what this means? I have to end today with one thing I've never done on this account. Ever. And it's all because of this guy. We're going to go ahead. And not heroic summons. We have to do something in the guild. I have to level up warrior tech. <laughs> because I've never, ever, ever had a warrior on this account. But because I now have two Seahoos, I actually need it. In a year, who would have thought it took me a year to build a warrior and then two came at once. So there we go. Then we prove it by pressing reset. There, look, zero cost me nothing. I've never, ever reset this. Actually, that's a lie. I might have reset it one time. It might have been what? I, actually, no, I've never reset a guild tech. Never. Yeah. So, holy smokes. There it is. The account has changed so much. It's gone from an aggressive account using a Sword Flash team to an account which is totally revolving around Sustain and CC. It's not even finished yet, but this is where we're going to end it today because we've got a lot of other small things to do. So first things first is going to be doing Seal Land with Vesa. That needs to happen. That's why we've built the Olivia and the Seahu, so we have a lot of E5s here in the Forest faction. Uh, combining Freya with Vesa, it's going to be freaking crazy. So that's going to be really, really, really fun. Um, and yeah, right, you've noticed in chat, all of these are support heroes, because it's all going to support our triple lineup of Freya, Vesa, Jara, right? It's, it's all going to be focused around getting the most out of those three guys. And yeah, it's just beautiful. What a freaking sexy account. And I, I cannot wait to see this. Right, I cannot wait to see this. And cringe, no E5 Mockman. Yeah. Now I just got to get that core for Jara. I do. So the next steps for this account, which are going to happen off screen, um, is I'm going to go take the B minus from my account, which is my side account. I'm going to sell that to this account, then bring the story gems back so that I can then use those story gems to go ahead and purchase the final package on here. I will do that with you guys. And that will give me flashy light sticks which will be enough to go ahead and cash in on the anniversary concert so that'll get us this last zone here that'll take us to 144 combine that with the remaining ones we will get from doing the last heroic summons we need to do and spending the final few gems we need to do that'll take us to 175 and that'll be enough to go ahead and complete this zone 
which will get us the final core of Origin. So we'll have Jara with a Tree of Origin core. We'll have Vesa, who will be absolutely pumped up. Um, she'll be B minus. And then Freya will just be her lovely, wonderful self supporting the account. Also off screen, I'm going to muck around with imprints. I don't quite know how we're going to finagle that, but I don't want to waste your time by doing imprints here on screen. You'll just be able to see the before and the afters. And we've also got a ton of spheres now, so I have to do some maths as to whether I, I should go ahead and make some more Void 4s, maybe make some more Void 3s. But either way, you'll be seeing that all next episode. So <laughs> I am, I'm pleased. I really am. And folks, I cannot wait to see where we go with this in the future. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe because this is a whole new era for the VIP series. And of course, happy idling.